Well, hello guys. Welcome to another Kingdom Report vlog. Uh, we are here today at Avengers Campus. It's me, my lovely girlfriend Katrina, and we're super excited to take in all that Avengers Campus has to offer. We've been here for two days. It's been an exciting time. What uh, What are you excited for, Katrina? I'm excited to see the Spider-Man stunt show, Black Widow stunt show, and <laughs> eating some food, I guess. Yeah, and yeah. doing a little bit of shopping, maybe. Maybe do a little web slinging uh, yeah, on the Spider-Man ride, a, I you guess know? that's the main thing, right? Is it, the web slinging? That's the main new thing, I so. I hope I can beat you. That's the main thing. Oh, man, I don't think so. We'll... I was practicing all day. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody see that guy on Twitter snapping his fingers? That was funny. Anyway, so we're excited to get around and show you around Avengers Campus and hope you have a great time with us. So come on, let's go and check it out. So first thing is first. I want to talk to you about how opening day went. As you can see, we had to wait in these corrals out here. Um, and then once they let us in, it was a line all the way around Buena Vista Street into the Hollywood section. Uh, and then it just goes on and on. We really thought we were close. Uh, we really, really did. We were so close. But then the line just kept on going and going and going all the way to the Paradise uh, Park section, which you can see here, we're riding jumping jellyfish, but it wasn't, you know, once we got our boarding group for Spider-Man, it wasn't that bad. But once we finally made it in, it was epic. I loved every second of it, actually. I was pleasantly surprised. And first we're gonna talk about kind of the environment and just how, how everything was, what we thought of it, so. Uh, I really thought that the land itself is beautiful. I, it seems so small from the photos and stuff, but once you're actually there, it, it really comes alive. It's really a fun place to be, and it feels like a comic book. You really do feel like a comic book, wouldn't you say so? I think so, and then plus with the music, it really helps with the ambiance to make you actually feel like you're in some kind of epic movie, you know? Something is about to happen at any moment. Oh yeah, definitely, without a doubt. Cause, and I would even say that the music might even be almost too loud sometimes because you really do uh, feel like you're a part of the movie, and especially when some of the characters come out, which we'll talk about later, it's like the volume in the area is booming, which is, I think it's a cool thing overall, but maybe tone it down just a tiny bit, but it, overall it's cool. And this is where the proposed e-ticket will finally go, right there in those doors. It's gonna be a Quinjet ride. It's not there yet, but down the road, they're gonna put a Quinjet ride there from what we understand, and uh, it's gonna be right through those doors. But yeah, this was not opening day. This was actually the next day, and you can see that it actually wasn't that crowded in there because they were keeping so many people out. There's one of the stands that uh, that is in the land. There's really only one stand and one shop, but we'll get to the shop later. Um, but I think actually even the, the Collector's Fortress fits in really well with this area, which is not what I expected. Yeah, now with the new storyline, it actually does fit. And then I really like this area too, because it kind of it kind of throws you off for a second, being like, what's happening over here? It's much different than the rest of it, but it's yeah. very peaceful. Yeah, Calming. it is very peaceful, exactly. And as you can see, they've in clearly included the Guardians of the Galaxy ride with Avengers Campus. That was the plan the entire time. And what I love about it is they've kind of added this whole little effect around the outside called what uh, Morgan Lee Richardson on Twitter, he's one of the Imagineers that worked on this, he called it the Kirby Crackle, which is based on Jack Kirby's illustrations where whenever there was some kind of temporal difference or whatever like that, there was the Kirby Crackle. That's how he always illustrated it. So I think it's really cool that they tried to bring that to the actual land. It's really, really neat. And we can't talk about the actual land without talking about nighttime. Oh my gosh, it's so cool. If you are able to hang out until the end of the night, it is probably the coolest experience you could ever see. Yeah, it really is beautiful. As you can see in Doctor Strange's little sanctum here, it's just gorgeous. It kind of even, I would almost say it that it's more exciting at night than during the day. The only problem is there's a lot of the character interactions kind of slow down later at night. But as you can see, it's just gorgeous. It's so fun to be there. And just, it feels like a California adventure land, to be honest with you. Cause I it see just, you did there. <laughs> yeah, 
but it just feels like it belongs in California Adventure because of the kind of relaxing aspect of it. Like it's, and I feel like that that's the vibe that I get off of California Adventure is like you go there and you kind of like it's more of like an Epcot, right, where you hang out and you do, and you have some fun. Um, and that's what this place gives me vibes about. But look at how beautiful the Web Slingers ride is at night. It's just, it's, it's great. Next up on our journey is the food around Avengers Campus. Let's start off with Pim Test Kitchen. We were so lucky and we were able to get a mobile order right around the time of when our boarding group was called. So I was really excited to not actually wait for the hour and a half in that standby queue to get food here. But anyway, besides that, when you go in, it's actually really neat because if you look, you can see that the conveyor belt is actually not working, but it is actually really cool how they did the video. Did you want to talk about it? You're I mean, really they, excited they, about it. They compensated for the fact that the conveyor belt could break and it doesn't even ruin the illusion. So I feel like that's a really cool thing. Uh, it, it is worth noting that Katrina does have the gluten allergy and they do not let you order allergies ahead of time on mobile order, but we just walked in and they they brought us up to the register so that we could order her allergy food. It was, it was pretty simple. It was no big deal. That's right. We ordered his food and then we were able to order my food right. afterwards. So that they're really great on it. And you can see these really cool lenticular things around the walls that bring, as you move around from left to right, they bring up different kind of images and... I love just seeing like the scientists all standing around this impossible meatball and then they grow it. I mean, I think that's really funny. I think that's a great little touch. And then on top of that, this casting laying thing with the trash can. If you shrink the trash can, then the ants can can uh, carry the trash can around. And obviously Cassie Lang, Ant-Man's daughter, very cool little Easter egg there. Uh, another cool Easter egg, or I guess it's not an Easter egg, but just these cool sodas that are coming down from the ceiling. I, I wonder how much money Coca-Cola paid for this. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, yeah, let's get let's get in there. And then obviously uh, there's a little Easter egg here with the Bountiful Valley, which there used to be the Bountiful Valley Farm in California Adventure before a Bugs Land and before uh, uh, Cars Land. So it's really cool to see that. And here's the food. Here's my impossible meatball. With the, uh, with the pasta underneath. It was great, I really loved it. Um, the pasta, a little overcooked maybe, but the meatball itself, even though it looks a little bit strange when you kind of rip into it, it it's you would never know that it was not real meat and it really tasted delicious, I love it. It's just got marinara sauce and, and all that great stuff. And here is the, the, the not so little chicken sandwich <laughs> and uh, it's got teriyaki on it it's got this spicy chili sauce and it's got a slaw on it and I really enjoyed this as well and they do a little trickery with the bun to make it look like it's bigger than it is but it was still great and it's still a big portion and then of course the atomic pretzel which has buffalo chicken on it and blue cheese and this was also really good I think it's a nice little twist on a pretzel I do suggest it maybe it's better than that giant pretzel I don't know who, who could say uh, but I really did enjoy it it was delicious now something I didn't enjoy so much this this bacon is candied and it usually comes with the peanut butter and jelly sandwich do not order the bacon by itself it was actually pretty gross it was just sweet and papery and just not so good but um, you want to talk about your food yes oh my gosh look at how delicious this looks it is the pimini sandwich with a gluten-free bread and has salami, rosemary, ham, provolone, and sun-dried tomato spread with, uh, and then they were able to sub the salad for tater tots because I just really wanted to try them and they're really great. Uh, they're like a Parmesan tater tot with some garlic and it's amazing. Chef's kiss. This is the, this is the beer mosa, which honestly just tasted like uh, orange juice to me. It was, it was orange juice and beer mixed together and it just tasted like orange juice. I don't recommend that one, but right next door, we do have the PIM Tasting Lab, which is very similar to the Test Kitchen, I feel like, but this is where you get all your alcoholic beverages, and they have this really cool flight that is obviously Ant-Man themed with the PIM stuff, and it's on this giant ruler, and I really thought this was a lot of fun. I also ended up getting the regulator, which is Patron Silver with the Golden Road Mango Cart and mango habanero syrups and mango flavor filled boba and it was very sweet but it comes with this cool cup so i was happy with the cup along with pim test kitchen you can also check out the shawarma palace which there's actually two of them and it comes they have these cool little uh gauntlets that you can carry around but 
uh, at the at the shawarma cart, you can get a chicken shawarma or the falafel one. And honestly, for me, the chicken shawarma might be my favorite food in all of the land, followed by the meatball. The chicken one was delicious. It has this stuff that reminds me of Zanku chicken, if you've ever eaten there, that has, it's like a garlic sauce. That's not the garlic sauce. That's actually the coconut tahini that comes on the side. This is the falafel one. The falafel one was also good, but it was, it had some seasoning to it that I wasn't familiar with. So I enjoyed it, but it wasn't exactly what I was expecting. Here's the coconut tahini. So if you get the falafel one, you're basically eating vegan food with this coconut tahini, which I was scared would taste like coconut, but it didn't. And the last place that you can go to eat is the Terran Treats over by the Collector's Fortress. And he's got a couple things for you. He's got a cream puff that has a raspberry cheesecake inside, or he has these pineapple churros. So we didn't try either of those, but they're interesting. Uh, along with that, we also have the shopping, which there's only one shop, like I said earlier, in all of Avengers Campus, which is this Web Slingers shop. And they have a lot of the Spider-Man gear in it. Uh, Katrina actually didn't come in here with me. Uh, she was off taking pictures somewhere else, but uh, there's a, obviously probably a ton of Easter eggs up there. And I, th I think it's a neat shop. I just think it's kind of small. Um, and there's really only the Spider-Man stuff in there. So if you need other Avengers Campus merchandise, you actually need to leave Avengers Campus to get it, which is kind of interesting to me uh, that they made a bunch of merchandise that won't even fit in their land. But They have a uh, tiny cart right by the bathrooms. That too, yes, yes. Cleverly placed. Yeah. So when the women are in the bathroom, the men can go buy stuff for them. <laughs> yes, I think you're probably <laughs> right. <laughs> I think it's kind of neat that they put the scoreboard for Web Slingers in the shop as well. I, I think that's a fun little touch that kind of makes the scores even more fun to, makes it more fun to compete, I guess I should say. And I just I'll look at some of the cool, cool merchandise. I really love these web mugs and then along with these basically shot glasses uh, that are really cool. And I think that they were a really great idea and I might even buy some someday, but Getting on to some of the more merch, some more of the merchandise here. There's a spider bot that you can control with a remote control, and it actually interacts with a couple of the different toys. So there's the web slinger toy that this man is playing with here, and as you can see, he's pointing it at the spider robot as this other woman is playing with it, and boom, there goes the head of the spider robot. I thought that was a fun little thing. I think it's cool that they actually have them interact with each other. And then on top of that, you can also have spider bots fight other spider bots. So here they are kind of shooting lasers at each other. You can see that the that the front, the eyes are blinking. And I don't know if that means they're shooting or if, or if it's getting damaged or what. But boom, there you go. All of a sudden, somebody wins the fight and it's all over. But I think it's cool. It's, it's cool to point out that with all these heroes on this whiteboard here, they may introduce more heroes down the road so that you can add to your toy. I, and here is the here's the little web slinger toy right here, which you bring into the ride with you and actually interact with it. It changes your experience by adding like a laser or a different kind of like an electric web. So I think it's an interesting idea overall. And speaking of that, let's get into the queue. The queue is very simple. It's the outside of the main building and you can kind of see everything is outdoors. So bring your sunscreen and an umbrella. But also you can kind of see around that Peter Parker is kind of testing some web fluid around the building and it's actually kind of neat. And then also around if you keep an eye out, you can also see these little spider creatures, which kind of gives you a hint of what you might see on the ride, right? Oh yeah, totally. I mean, it's kind of neat that all around the whole area you can see these little spider guys kind of giving you a glimpse of what's to come. And you can even see here that there's like, there's different profiles for the different students that worked on this web open house. And uh, of course I had to show the trash cans in there real quick. I mean, there's a bunch of beautiful trash cans around the uh, around Avengers campus. Um, but yeah, it, it's, it's a really, it's small but cool. And some of the designers really neat little Easter eggs. This is Anome, she's from Wakanda. She's actually brought up in the comic books in the past um, and she came over to to help out with this experiment. And next up we have Harley Keener. And if you know Harley Keener, he was actually in Iron Man 3 and he was the one that helped Tony Stark after he had his like little panic attack meltdown. 
and he was the one that tried to defend with a potato gun. Yeah, and he sh and he was at Tony Stark's funeral and as he, well, that was sad. which is a sad part to say. I'm yes. so sorry. I <laughs> And uh, Lunella Lafayette, she's actually a moon girl who is kind of a superhero that not many people have heard of, but she hangs out with her friend Devil Dinosaur, which, you know, of all things, I'm like, wow, she's a moon girl that hangs out with the dinosaur. Cool. I didn't know much about her. I did a little bit of research, but it's interesting to find out about that stuff. Of course, Peter Parker. Who, I think what we is, know this guy. Yeah, what is there to say about Peter Parker? Um, we all know and love the man, he, the not Spider-Man, I guess I should say. We, we all know Peter. We all know. <laughs> um, but and then they show like a little web slinger vehicle which I think is really cool that they show like oh this piece does this and this piece does that like I think it's really fun that they came up with ideas for how this machine actually works in the fiction and uh, that's really cool and then the last student we have is Doreen Green who maybe some people have heard of her uh, she's a little superhero called Squirrel Girl and I think it's really funny that they even say in her bio, like, she's a squirrel whisperer. I think it's cool. Uh, I, I, I wish that they would delve into the Squirrel Girl stuff more often, maybe on Disney Plus, we'll see. But also there's an extended queue, which is kind of a weird thing. It's, there's no guardrails or anything like that. So you just kind of have to follow this black line and there's just not much space for a line. So there's that. But also you can see some of the students' bikes and things like that that are lined up. Squirrel Girl's bike is right on the end there, and I think that's a lot of fun. And there's Monkey Joe, by the way, which is Squirrel Girl's first squirrel friend that she ever made. Uh, and I, I love that his name is Monkey Joe, and I love that they put that Easter egg in. So that leads us into the pre-show, obviously hosted by Peter Parker and his robot friend Sharon. And I just wanted to show you a quick little glimpse of it. So let's take a look. We hope you have a great time on your visit to the Worldwide Engineering Brigade Open House. <laughs> and now, our project lead, the brilliant, oh, Peter Parker. Hey, what's up? I'm Peter Parker, and here at Web, we got access to some pretty awesome tech, like vibranium from Wakanda, or this crazy alien juice stuff. We have pin particles and start tech. It all helps us develop really cool stuff, like, um, like these spider bots, for example. Check it out, they have this really cool self-replicating feature. Because? Uh, this is awesome. Buddy, you can stop doing that now. But anyway, you guys are here today to help us test the web slayer vehicle. Using all more tech, you will be able to sling webs just like my buddy Spider-Man. Peter, your presentation is getting away from you. Yeah, I'm a little bit sure. If you could just initiate the safety protocols, and would be The problem with that, so Peter. Anyway, if you want to sling a web, all you gotta do is sling your arm in the direction you want to shoot the web, and that's it. That's all. Awesome. Peter, your spider bots are continuing to replicate and are consuming everything oh. in their path. They seem to be stuck in self replication mode. If you could just handle that for me, please. On it. Contacting Mr. Stark. Don't call Mr. Stark! Don't call Mr. Stark. Sorry, you shout. Could you just call someone else and ask how to do it? Okay. Contacting Spider Man. Um, I'm gonna go find Spider Man for us all because he's around here somewhere. Okay, goodbye. Spider Man! So, yeah, obviously you can see these spiders are taking over. Not a good thing. Peter Parker slash Spider Man needs our help and we need to sit in the web slinger vehicles and really you move your arms as fast as you can. I'm doing it right now, I don't know if you can hear it. And you try and sling webs all over all these spiders and save the day because Spider-Man needs our help. That's just the way it is. He's a man that uh, does not have a plan. <laughs> but as you can see, there's a bunch of different Easter eggs in this room as well. If you look on the top left there you can see the lego death star which ned was uh building with peter in the original homecoming movie and he just drops it on the floor at a certain point it breaks into a million pieces and uh there's a number of other easter eggs in here as well that really are kind of hard to find i feel like but they're very neat and i just think this whole musion thing is really cool i don't know if it's how i don't know if it's called musion necessarily but i basically just mean it looks like peter parker's standing in the room with you I think that's really neat. It's a cool idea and it really is a nice little pre-show. As we exit to make our way to the loading area, if you take a look at the claw machine, you can kind of see a little Easter egg of the glasses from a Bugs Life show. All the way in the back right there. All the way in the back right. Yeah, and a couple other Easter eggs too, like when you're leaving the, the briefing room here, 
there's a bunch of lockers and you can see down in the bottom left, Devil Dinosaur from, I told you, Moon Girl, I told you, I knew the thing. And then here's the loading area and it's actually just pretty simple. It's very fluid, very quick. They tell you what number you're gonna be on. You go to that number and you're ready to go. Yeah. And you're ready to rock and the cool new, the cool glasses are fun because they're blue and red for Spider-Man. Yeah, of course they are, they have to be. But these vehicles are actually kind of neat. The way that they work is they kind of trace your movements and you can even see that it records your head, it records your arms and whatever you're doing, it follows along. And I actually find it to be kind of a neat technology. Like you can see me waving, uh, that's me waving. And then this is one of the few physical sets in the entire ride. There's really not much in the way of physical sets. It's mostly these screens that you see here. And I show a quick glimpse of it, but this ride is very hard to film. So get ready for just a bunch of madness because this is me just shooting as fast as I can at these spiders uh, with my little repulsor blaster. And as you can see at the end of the game, it tallies up your score. You get different medals for each section you complete. And it also shows you how many different types of spiders you got. And uh, I think it's a, it's, it's a cool scoring system overall. And it's a goofy, fun ride. I just feel like Toy Story kind of does it better, but I, I still think it's a fun addition overall to Avengers Campus. And at the end, you see the scoreboards. Um, and Katrina was asking about these little dots. I was, and actually we found out that there are people that have the uh, Repulsor Blaster, like the little addition uh, when you play the game. So it the tells web you, tech, I the think web it's called, tech. yes. So there was a couple people that had it as you're, at, so they were able to play, but um, apparently they didn't get as high a score no. as people that didn't have it, so that's great. <laughs> uh, but we missed a spider here, which I'm, but, Way to go, but you Tyler. know what, he gives us a little wave, so I guess I'm not too mad about <laughs> it, right? Uh, so the next thing we're going to talk about here is the entertainment and the characters that come out in Avengers Campus. And as you can see, Spider-Man is here saying hello to some folks. Here's Loki walking out from uh, wherever he's walking from. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and um, it's really cool to see these characters walking around, doing different things. Um, and of course, they even have these little shows that lead up to uh, meet and greets occasionally. And this is such a cool thing to see, don't you think? It, I really liked it. I watched it a couple times, and it's really neat. The storyline, you know, you, you just see Black Widow, and she's just doing her own thing. And then these guys come around, and then everybody's like, oh, no, watch out. And then she starts fighting them and repels down the side of the building. It's really neat. And then I honestly got a little emotional when you see somebody scale up the wall. And uh, it's great to see. Yeah, so let's give you a little glimpse here. Intruders, step aside. I won't ask a second time. This is a fight you cannot win. So that little show is really cool, but also there is the Doctor Strange Sanctum over here, which Doctor Strange comes out, and I didn't, I don't have footage of this, I apologize, but he comes out and he kind of does a couple little magic tricks. Like, it, it almost kind of gave me the vibe of a, of a kid's birthday or something. And he does a couple little things, little illusions, and he tells a story about uh, bringing a hero and uh, he brings out Thor from what I've seen, which is pretty cool. And then Thor goes and does a meet and greet. So I think it's fun that they have these stories that turn into character meet and greets. And speaking of meet and greets, this one might have been my favorite overall. I mean, he is honestly just incredible. He has all these lines that sounds like they even got Robert Downey Jr. to voice it. I'm not sure if that's the case, but it really does sound like Robert Downey Jr. And it's cool to see Tony Stark out there saying a bunch of fun lines, and he's got a lot of things he can say, and he made me laugh. He was making other people laugh, so 
Let's kind of take a listen in. Come on up. An excellent choice by Proof. So I'm doing an informal poll. Who is your favorite Avenger? Of course. Of course. Okay. Also, why? Why am I your favorite? I knew I liked you. Hey, all these people lined up to watch us take a picture. Let's give them a good show. Wow, Iron Man is so cool, you guys. And on top of that, what you'll also see is Spider-Man. Spider-Man himself wandering around, and he's on top of the web building. And what he does is he starts on one end of the building, starts talking to the crowd, and actually works to the other side of the building so everybody gets to see him in action. So let's take a look. Hey, what's going on, guys? What? Oh, no, not fighting bad guys today. I'm just testing some new tech in the suit for Mr. Stark. Good to see ya! Whoa! Hang on! My spider sense is telling me I need to test this suit. Okay, it's not. But I want to do some swinging. Hey everyone! It's good to see ya! Hi! Welcome to Avengers Campus. Watch this! Time for some field testing. Hey, could you record it for me? Tag me later. There we go. for those crates. Hey, Sharon, let's do an altitude test with the new improvements. Great, Spider-Man. Don't forget to tag me on your video. Hashtag Amazing Spider-Man. Vlogging altitude test number 135. I think you might be rounding up. Based on previous tests, predicted rate of success, 14%. <laughs> now you're rounding down, right? Okay, no pressure, but... There are a lot of people watching. Clear the runway! Spider-Man is cleared for takeoff! Wow! Oh no, his head hurt. I'm okay. The roof broke my fall. Has some bones, baby. Okay, that stung a bit. Woo! Sharon, did you get that? I got the data. Kinda killed my vibe there. Hey, wait up! I'm just gonna jump down and meet you! Yeah, and then Spider-Man, he comes down from the roof and does this amazing wall crawl. And I think that's what I love about Avengers Campus the most, right? Is they take these stories and these shows and they turn them into character meet and greets, which is so cool to expand on the stories and expand on the meet and greets to actually make them something more than just like, oh, come on up and take a picture with me. I think it's really neat. Of course, they have the Dora Milaje that also come out and they do a training session with everybody. Everybody was in good spirits and having fun and laughing and doing all the little training things that she was asking them to do. And it was really cool. And yeah, just, it's so much fun, Avengers Campus, you guys. And I love seeing all these characters there. And let's just end up the vlog now and take it out, shall we? Wow, okay, man. It's been an action-packed couple of days here. Uh, we got to try a lot of food. We got to go on web slingers. We got to see Spider-Man swing I around see everywhere. On web uh, no, no, that didn't happen. No, don't worry about that. <laughs> don't, don't, don't. You don't have to tell them that. Oh my gosh, you guys, <laughs> that was great. <laughs> highlight of the day. So that was your highlight. You think beating me on web slingers was the highlight? I mean, that was one of them. The second one I think is really cool is I feel like the land is always moving. First we saw Spider-Man fly through here. And then you see Black Widow fighting with T'Challa. 
Yeah. You're like, whoa, this is crazy. I think what's really cool about it is it feels so alive because all these different heroes keep coming out from all over the place. Just everywhere you look, there's like another hero popping up. And that's a really cool thing that they're doing here. And, and I think it, I think it's like, it takes kind of what they tried to do with Galaxy's Edge and kind of boosted it to the next level, I feel like. So it's been really cool. I've really enjoyed it. I think Avengers Campus is a really nice addition overall to California Adventure. I think Web Slingers could, you know, it has a couple problems here and there, but with just the food and just the fun and all the heroes, it's, this is a really cool place to be. And I think when the crowds die down a little bit, it's gonna be great to uh, experience this place just like the rest of California Adventure, just have a nice chill day and relax and watch a couple of heroes. You know what I mean? Yep. You I agree with you. Yeah. yeah. I think it's a really great land. It's, uh, again, you got to get that time to get in here or wait in the queue. But when you do, it's actually really fun and there's no regrets, you know? Yeah. Make sure you get that boarding group. <laughs> That's really a number one uh, thing. So. But yeah, anyway, that's gonna do it for us, guys. We hope you enjoyed our little informational vlog here. And uh, we're gonna keep on coming out with more. So uh, we love seeing you. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions or any concern. And we would love to hear from you. And uh, anything else we got for the kids? I beat him again at Web No, Singer. no, that's it. <laughs>